my very first sturgeon. Hey! With Captain Dean! Hey! In Canada, I'm fishing with Rod. Perfect. Happy birthday. Hey, buddy. Hey, thank you. Yeah, <laughs> happy birthday. Yeah. I want to I wanna fight one, you know, like, like one of those big ones. That's, I want to have that feeling that, you know, I might not make it. I want to have that feeling. Okay, got it. Dean, I'm a sturgeon angler now. You're the king of the Fraser, man. Dean is going to work that out for us. We're still on to the Halfway fish. Halfway down the Fraser right. River for crying out loud. How come you let that fish go so far? You told me to wait. Look at that big fish. Yeah, that's your fish. That's your fish, Rod. That's your fish. Looks good on you, man. Looks good. He's not going anywhere. I'm going to catch this fish. We're going to break him. Hold it, we gotta give it to him now. We gotta give you it to him. Let go, let go, let go, let go, let go. Okay. Rod, walk away, oh, okay. walk I got away. It. I got it. Yeah, I keep line tight. That's it, that's it. Dig deep, dig deep. You're close, you're close. You're close, you're close. <sighs> that is a river hog. Hi everyone, my name is Johan Rue and I am from YouTube channel Canal Gratis Hey everyone, my name is Rodney, I'm from Fishing with Rod and welcome to Chilliwack, British Columbia. Today we're doing a collaboration job together with these two fantastic YouTube channel. My Swedish Canal Gratis Dadesi is going fishing with Fishing with Rod YouTube channel. And we're here to meet up with Dean. Yep, from, from Great River Fishing Adventures. There you go, Great yep. River Fishing Adventure. We're going sturgeon fishing today, guys. Mm -hmm. I've seen one of your cool shows like you were here with Carl and Alex. And that's right. Yeah, we caught a huge one. Yeah. It was almost yeah. like three meters yeah. long. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. It's like 10 yeah. feet. So when you hook one, you, you just never know what you're going to get. It's super cool. I'm so excited. I never fished sturgeon before. Really looking forward to this run. Excellent. Let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah. Sturgeon fishing with center pin reels. Not something you see every day. Never. Breast cancer reel, custom made. Rods, custom made rods, custom made all, everything. All right. All for the benefit of the breast cancer awareness. Absolutely. And it's always right. nice just to have this in the boat because you know what? People see it. I even got Power Pro in pink. Oh, wow. And that's very rare. That's very rare. Cool. So it's just salmon roll. Got it. Okay. Those are pink salmon eggs. Pink salmon eggs. And we eggs. put them in a sack so that the little pike minnow, the ground fish below, yep. are not going to peck away and we put it in a sack so they don't take it off of our hook. Okay, got it. <laughs> Believe it or not, we're fishing in like seven or eight feet of water here. All right. So pretty shallow. Very shallow. And yep. that's not common either. Nope. Right? Lots of people think that you fish sturgeon in deep water. And you do at some times of the year. And today we're going to fish in some deep water as well. So this is the warm-up section. Sometimes big fish, big baits. Sometimes small fish, even big baits. We just come out right to the side here. Don't have to go far behind the boat. Just behind the boat, period. A sturgeon bite. They're pretty aggressive in the shallow water. So if we hook one up here, it's gonna look exactly like this. Okay. Right, it's gonna be like a deep pull. Maybe it's a little bit easier for me to show you over here, Johan. Yeah, perfect. Okay. 
it'll be a deep pull. That's what the bite is going to look like. That's exactly what it's going to look like. It's All going right. to pull deep. And you'll want to put your thumb on the spool. And then we'll just push the drag to the lock position. Okay. okay. And you'll see there's a lot more drag pressure there, right? Yes. Okay. We want it so that the fish can run right now and take the bait if he wants to. A little bit of loose line in there. So right now, pretty loose. Pick up the rod. Push Pick the brake up, the rod, up too. Push the brake up and then put your rod down and let him take it, take it, take it until it feels like he's got so much pressure on there or until I say hit him. And when you strike, you hit him hard and then you get that line and keep the rod up. Yep. So you want to just let him go and then I'll get all the rest of these rods out of the water. Yeah. So, so we want to let him go to get all that stuff he in. He has to go. If he can't go and it's a big fish, he just breaks you off, right? Or you rip the hook out of his mouth. Yeah. So a game of give and take. There's two bites, take. there's two bites. Take it out, take it out, take it out. Hold on, hold on. Okay, up with your drag, hit him, hit him, hit him. There you go, fish on. Keep it up, keep it up. Keep your rod up, I'm gonna get this one out of the way. All right, so now we're hooked up, we're a little bit tangled here, but Dean is gonna work that out for us. We're still onto the fish, and I'm... That's a fish, Dean. <laughs> Am I doing it right? Oh, yeah. So I'm letting the fish, I'm listening to Dean here, I'm letting the fish run so we can get all the stuff out. Yeah. So that fish is going downstream. We got a lot of work ahead of us. Well, oh, how's that? It's Hooked a lot up in of Canada. fun. Yeah. How long have we been fishing? Like for three, four, five minutes. We're good. Not bad. Hey, Dean, you want to know something? No. It's my birthday today. No This will way. be my birthday sturgeon. Well, I think I like we're that. running out of line here. Let's get him. Uh, <laughs> let's have a little look here. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm going to tighten you up. Yep. Okay, so just keep that rod up. Keep that rod up. Nice work. I'm going to get you a belt. You yep. want it, were you comfortable with a belt? No, I'm You I want think, a belt or you're comfortable with a belt? No, I think I'm good one? right here. Okay, so let's get you back here. All I want right. you at the back of the boat where we're going to work on these fish. I'm going to get all these rods out of the way. Fish stop. Just circling down there. Beautiful. There, now you got your fish coming. Look at it. He's halfway down the Fraser River for crying out loud. I know, I know. I How know. come you let that fish go so far? You told me to wait. Look at that big fish. There's a giant fish jump right out there. Oh, yeah. Hooked up. Yeah. Yeah, that was fast. That was impressive. <laughs> so you're doing an excellent job reeling them in. Thank you. And probably the only thing you got to watch on these rods is, because we have a lot of line on them, yep. it looks like you're our natural at this. Is keeping that line going on yeah. that spool nice and even. Yeah. These fish, before they reach maturity, are 25 to 28 years of age. Okay. So to bring back a, a three generations of these fish to get a sustainable population, you're looking at 75 to 90 years. Okay. Right? Yeah. So they're very slow growing fish, very prehistoric, and today we're catching dinosaurs. Yeah, we do. Right? And this is a little area I like to call Jurassic Park. Yeah. You keep working and then we're going to bring them right up to the side here. Wow. Keep, stay right up back here where I am in case the fish goes a little bit crazy. Yeah. Any fish that's pretty much in around under five feet, we yeah. can bring in and sample. Okay. And most of the fish that are bigger, it's a little bit easier to take them to shore and it's for the better being of the fish. All right. Right? So this one we can bring in. This one is Instagram approved. This one is Instagram <laughs> approved. In the mouth. And he just slides in nice, gentle and easy. See that? Super. Right? And I could take that hook out just like this. Look at that. My oh. babies. Right? Done. My very first sturgeon. Hey! With Captain Dean. Hey! In Canada. I'm fishing with Rod. Yeah. Perfect. Happy birthday. Hey, buddy. Hey, thank you. Yeah, <laughs> happy birthday. Yeah. Wow, this is good. Time for doing a little bit of research now, yeah. Johan. So what we want to do is we want to make sure that we've got a lot of water in here. As you can see, we put all that water into the cradle. Yep. But we also want to process this fish basically as fast as we can. We get him up for a quick photograph and we send him on his way. Yep. So to start things off is we have a tagging sheet we need to do. We've got a scanner and you can turn this on. I want you to scan your first oh, Fraser River cool. fish. 
So maybe you want to just come in here where I am, turn it on, so. push butt down hard, hold down the read button, and we're going to check for where the tag is, which is typically right in here. There you go. You got a tag. Wow, that okay. was fast. Just like that. 10 code digit. You want to read that out to me? Yeah. Zero alpha one four zero alpha one eight eleven eleven. No, okay. sorry. One one. <laughs> okay, so I've got zero alpha one four zero alpha one eight one one. You got it. And for scientific purposes, we measure from the tip of the nose down the lateral, the scoot line of this fish and lay the tape just on the fish. Just lay it. You can open up that cradle just a little bit if you need to. So pull good. it back and then just lay it on the fish so it lays naturally, right? Yep. And we have our fork length is what? Fork length, up. 153. 153, we're right on. Good estimation okay. there. Okay. So 153, I put that down. And that's a five foot fish. The girth of these fish. Girth measurement. And the girth, we just make a hoop. We come down below the pectoral fins, right up in under the pectoral fins. So we keep our measurements always the same. And we got right here as a natural state of the way it is, we've got 57.5. Got it. Okay. Okay. These are the tags that we use in the mark recapture program. That's what they look like. That's what we inject into these fish. We have over 62,000 unique fish tagged in less than 20 years. See, it has another unique number there. Yeah. Right? And then that tag would just sit inside this needle. You only have one tag in a fish, right? We yep. never put two in. But if we were, we just slide that into the needle, okay? And it would go where that tag is when it was originally put. Skull, meat, and we come a thumb width back yep. on the left side looking down on the fish. And hopefully we'll get a fish for you to do that with today. All right. Cool. Okay, and we just come back and we drop the needle in. Right? Okay. And it's done. Yeah. Okay? So hopefully we'll get a fish like that today. All right, so we're moving. We're going somewhere else. Up deep into the canyon. We're going up deep into the canyon. We're gonna go to heaven. <laughs> Let's go to heaven. Okay, so we stopped in our second spot. We're actually our third spot for the day. And Dean is getting the bait ready, getting our rods out. And we're sitting on a, it's, a, it's an eddy, and it's a very deep eddy. It's like, how deep is it, Dean? Uh, it's 230 feet deep in the deepest spot in high water. 230 feet deep in the deepest spot in high water. Is that him loading you? Yeah, that's your fish. That's your fish, Rod. That's your fish. Okay, reel down, reel down, reel down, reel down. Reel, reeling. Reel, 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 reel. Okay, swing up. Hit him. Reel down. Now lift up again. Okay. Rod, you're getting a bite right there. Yep, so lift up. You gotta fish on here, right? So you gotta let him go when he goes. Yep. Okay, when he pulls hard. Okay. So look look at your rod tip. There you go. Hand off, hand off. Yeah, underneath. It's a give and take, right? Yep. Okay, good. That's a good fish, actually. <laughs> oh, that's bigger than your two footer, buddy. A good fish is coming this way. Let him go. Let him go. Come to me. Come to me.
Rod is hooked up. All right, we're fishing with Rod. Fishing with Rod YouTube channel. We're out with Steve, Dean. And we're having fun. And I got a needle in my hand here. Stay tuned. We're gonna find out what we're gonna do with this needle in just one second. All right, so this is how this system works. I'm really glad I'm not that fish right now because I'm afraid of needles in airplanes. Okay, looks there's good. Bite. There's a bite, there's a fish right there. Oh, there's a bite right there. Okay. So head, thumb, and yeah, should be good over here. So this fish is about half a meter long. How, how do you think this would be? Think? Oh, that's uh, probably a seven to eight year old yeah, fish. Yeah, so, that's an old fish. Yeah. So one thing about, I guess one thing about, interesting about these canyon fish is that their nose is very pointy. Yeah, right? they're a shovel nose. Yeah, and why, why are they pointy? They're pointy because of the environment that they live in. It's all rocky as you can see around us, right? They can forage in amongst all these big rocks and knows out their food to get it a little bit better. Yeah. It's about a 50% population here between blunt nose and shovel nose, mm. right? And the farther you go up the Fraser, and we're at 180 kilometers from the ocean here, the farther you go up, the more you're gonna get predominantly shovel nose sturgeon. So this is Rod's fish. Beautiful fish. Not That's your tomorrow fish. That's, five. That's, your That's my fish. That's your fish. Yeah. That's my fish. Oh yeah, I forgot, I caught this one. Yeah. So much stuff going on. Yeah, it's chaotic. And it's fun. Hook, palomar, leader. Slider, beads. Beads protect your knot from the weight coming down on it, right? All right. Then you just need about five here because your leader is so heavy. Tighten it up a little bit. Fish can do the rest of the work. All right. Trim off all of your little loose ends. Perfect Fraser River sturgeon rig. And that guy there, we'll just trim him off a little bit. It's not that critical to have it short or anything, we're not fly fishing. Leader, swivel, beads to protect the knot, slider, so the sinker doesn't mess up the thing, the swivel thing here. Beads, okay, got it. Dean, I'm a sturgeon angler now. You're the king of the Fraser, man. Yeah, I want to. I want to fight one. You know, like, like one of those big ones. That's. I want to have that feeling that you know I might not make it. I want to have that feeling. It. Yeah, yeah. That, that would be like. If you want, if you want a big fish. Yeah. And get a head. Yeah. Use a head. You want me to take over, Rod? Yeah, anytime now. Okay, anytime now. Okay, I got it. I got it. Keep the line tight. Yeah, keep the line tight. All right. So, I'm, yeah, I'm helping Rod here. He's got this fish warmed up for me. He's probably going to take off and jump once more out here. Got you, buddy. Here, you want this? No, no, I'm good. Okay. So this is a big fish. That's a big fish, yeah. It's taking line. And I'm just trying to rest, get myself ready to do this fight, because this is going to be a while. Go ahead, pick that rod up. Pick that rod up, lift up, lift up. Pick that rod a little bit up. Keep it high. You want to have that bend in that rod as much as we can, because it needs to be an elastic band, right? This boy is just sitting there. Oh yeah, he's having fun. We're having fun. That's We're having fun. Yeah. Whoa! Careful, careful, he's underneath the boat. Yeah. He's on the other side. 
There we go. Uh, I think we're gonna go over there, okay? Okay. So what's gonna happen is, we're just gonna let them sit here a little bit loose. So that's what these big guys do, right? They love to hang out right underneath the boat. So we're hoping he's gonna swim out of there. Yeah. Right? Makes it really hard on your body, eh? Yeah. And you're doing a good job. Rod, Rod fought him for a half an hour or so. I mean, so it's good you probably get in that last 10 minutes, eh, buddy? Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> that was a good night. Okay, so now, so now he's come out. So now we'll put the drag back up again, okay? There you go. All right. So when he goes under, remember, this is where you got to go. If he goes under the boat, yeah. we go, up. don't loosen that. I'll help you. But this is where we go. Watch me. Okay. Watch me, what I'm going to do. Okay, when he goes under there, you go like this. Slide those legs right against here, and we go way out and around that kicker. Right? Yeah. It's probably gonna jump. It's a tub of a fish. That is a river hog. That's a big river donkey, that bad boy. That's it, good man. Okay, watch that line on the side of the boat. That's it. Good man. Give it to him. Give it to him. Don't give up, buddy. Don't give up. Give it to him. Give it to him. Don't give up. You want that belt yet, buddy? No, we're good. Okay, watch it. Watch your line on the side of the boat. On and off, right? Be careful, yeah? There's a lot of tension. Slow strokes. Short, short strokes. You want Rob to pick up the No, no. Come, come, get. Yeah. You think maybe we're hooked on the bottom, or no? Is this thing swimming, or we're on the it's rock, swimming. or what do you think? It's swimming. Is it a good fish? Yeah, it's a good fish. Kind of fun up here? It's fun. A little hard on your body though? Yeah, we're, we're talking about it. I mean, look at this backdrop in British Columbia. Hang on. I'll be your support system from right back here, buddy. I'm glad it's your arms and not mine. <laughs> That's wear down one generation at a time, right? That's right. The old guy, oh, yeah. the old guy gets on the wrong last. Yeah. Looks good on you, man. Looks good. He's not going anywhere. I'm gonna catch this fish. We're gonna break him. Oh, yeah. Somebody's gonna get broke, that's for sure. <laughs> it's not gonna be the rod. Oh. <laughs> Look at that, that's just cool. I think I just gained like five feet in 10 minutes. <laughs> He's, he's actually got a lot of line on him. He's, he's, they're just they're just super strong, right? At this time of the year again, right? Yeah. It's crazy. Come on, fish! I haven't gone all day. I can't move it. Oh yeah, I'm not gonna break. This guy's gonna break. Yeah, I'll watch it. I'll both swing it, but it's nothing we can do about that one. Yeah, I think you're having fun down there. Wait till you see me. Oh. Keep that line tight so we can make it jump. So it's a case of when he rests, I fight. When he fights, I rest. That's the only way to do it when you're fishing big fish. Well, what can we do for you? Do we need to give you a shoulder massage? Uh, you need some water? Good. We're good. Stand by. You keep that camera ready for Instagram. 
Stand, stand, stand by. We're going to get to some followers today. Stand by. We're just going to get to a commercial for Ford. <laughs> Ford truck and, uh, and the big game fish that the Ford truck all in. Sure wish we were Ford trucking it today. Oh, I'm a GMC guy. What am I talking about? Hey, what do you think, man? Is that sick or what? That's sick. Hey? That's hey, what Rod? we came for. It's pretty cool, eh? That's it, that's it. Dig deep, dig deep. You're close, you're close. You're close, you're close. Turn his head, turn his head. Okay, that's the time to give it to him. Hold it, we gotta give it to him now. We gotta give it to him. Let go, let go, let go. Let go, let go. Rod, walk away, walk away. Walk away, Rod, walk away. Go outside, outside. Rod, can you come to me and can you, can you lift this anchor? Two hands like a, mo like a moose horn. Yeah, and walk back, but walk, be careful, right? Up on the beach, 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 up on the beach. Slam it down. Stand on it. Stand on it. Just Stand gotta hold this fish. Stand. Like real tight here. Good. There we go. Head up. Okay. Now what has to happen is. Yeah. What do you need? No, well, somebody's gotta come and hold this. It's my fish game. Buddy, that is a sick fish. Man. That's a sick fish. That right is sick. Dude. Look at that. Okay, we don't want him up too close to That's shore. That's a sturgeon. Okay, we want to keep him way in the water here. 